Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Liberty Flames and the Harvard Crimson. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Crimson should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Secondly, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And finally, it's imperative that you win the battle of the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dumps it in. The power forward handles the feed. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Pushing that basketball. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Nice shot. Here's a double team. Ten on the shot clock. There's a shot clock violation. They ran out of time because they made him think twice about where the ball should be passed. Made him think three or four times, if you ask me. Trying to feed inside. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. In the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center receives the pass. You see it time and time again. Star players make plays. Hey, Brad, he's what I call a PT beer, a prime time player. When the spotlight is on, he usually performs. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. execution on offense. Kicks it out. High post screen. Tries for two. The land. That's a nice looking play right here. The center handles the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. <laughs> on the outside, Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to command the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They look to get it to the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. He uses the shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post block. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. 
showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They work the perimeter. Number one receives the ball. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. On eight blocks the shot. Number 33. Modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. Gave it up. He unloads. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for contact. Number two makes the finger roll. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. From downtown, sinks it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to go inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They'll work it around the arc. He unloads a three. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. him in the post and didn't pass it in reverses it he shoots from left of the circle jumps in he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score looking for a good shot that'll take some he blocks the shot and the ball goes out of bounds Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. In and out. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He throws it up from downtown. Scorches the net. Goes up for two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Up and inside. On the outside. They've left him completely alone. Set that screen away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Puts it up. Looking for contact. Up. Easy one. That's seven on answer. They work the perimeter. Takes the jumper. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. On the dribble, gives it up. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Here's the 
Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two, makes it. They scored nine in a row. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low block. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Off the rim and no good. Dick, the three ball virtually non-existent tonight. Hey, because these kids are so well coached on how to play proper zone defense, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. So effective, that screen. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Up and inside. the bucket. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Gave it up. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Time to pick up the defense here now. Now it comes the other way. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Both teams are looking to get something going here. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And he'll kick it back outside. Looks at a three. Way off target. Shoots. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Harvard have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the inside, number 33 picks up the foul. Second team foul. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. I and mean, he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Got a 
think right now, got to focus defensively. They still don't score. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He shoots from long range. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. They work it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Now the high screen. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Turnaround jumper. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Number two steals the ball. He rejects it. Moving it around the perimeter. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot the defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure that's a high post screen goes to the lane Number 11 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Second shot is no good. Take the shot way off target. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? And now they'll bring it up. Let's it fly. He can't get the hoop to fall. Number 10 is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. On the dribble, gives it up. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. Move Got a nice screen. It sticks. This is what posters are made from. down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. You betcha. Looking for a good shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in his deck. Where's he going? On the outside. In the paint. 
trying to draw the foul. They don't seem to be getting any decent shot opportunities, Dick. Because they're looking in the wrong places, Brad. There's a high screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And in and out. Up and inside. Gave it up. Got the high pick. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? the perimeter number 11 is whistled for the foul fourth team foul coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line it's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble He misses his second shot. Up fake. Thinks about the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. Hi right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from left of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. The skip pass is picked off. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Sets the screen for his teammate. He puts up the tray. Great shot. At the half, the Crimson lead by 29. It was an interesting first half, Dick. Do you have a replay of the half in mind? My ally, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. 
Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Number 11 conducted a scoring clinic out there in the first half, partner. He was awesome, baby, with a capital A. I mean, the lean, mean scoring machine, Mr. Nestler. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. And he missed. Look at that spacing. He tries the three. Rims out. it up for the bucket. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in an ice inside basket. Looking for a good shot. The point guard gets the pass from way outside. I wish somebody would knock down a jump. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He got it. Third shot, good. They scored seven in a row. Takes the pass in the paint. Fakes the shot. Number 33 fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the arc. Takes away the pass. Fakes a jumper. Pump fakes. He attempts a jump hook and off the mark. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The small forward gets the ball. He makes the shot. The Flames have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward takes the feed. Drops the bucket despite the harm.
Number one is called for the foul. Second team foul. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. He can't get the hoop to fall. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. The shooting guard takes the pass. Nope. He better get rid of it. Let's face it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Up and inside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. for two. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Executes the baby hook. Doesn't go. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter, way out on top, controlling the ball. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Entry pass in the paint. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Easy one. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. There's a double team waiting there. Steals the ball. From right in the circle. You bet. Executed. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. In and out. Side. From three-point land, he nails the bucket. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. He pulls it down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for contact. The Crimson are up by 36. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. The center with the ball. Stolen away. Gave it up. He's got an open look for the shot. For two, he doesn't get the hoop to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Stop and pop. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He strips him clean. Tries for two. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. On the outside, he's open if he wants the shot. He unloads. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He dials long distance. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Looks like all they can look forward to is next season, Dick, because uh, one team's been dominant throughout this ballgame. It doesn't look like it's going to change. Well, it's not going to change. They jumped on him right away. They executed. They came out and played with purpose. The other club, I think, has been reading its press clippings, and they just didn't respond. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air. You get balled by Goya. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the fake. Goes up for two. Rims out. Gave it up. Way out on top. He gets the rejection. Step out on that screener. Jumps in. He missed the easy bucket inside off the screen. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steals the pass. Here they go into the break. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a high post flasher. He shoots from right of the circle. Drops it from long range. In the paint. There's the fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. 
Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out, and that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Set that screen away. And the ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot on the outside. Pump fakes. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Number 33 goes to the charity strike for two. Misses his first shot. He buries it. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. foul for sure what a great job defensively what a super job great footwork and he really draws the charm in the paint for the deuce off the rim and no good high post screen so effective that screen It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And gets it to fall. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Got Both a goals. nice screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. Lays it in. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. We'll get a better look on the replay. He launches the bomb. 
Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job. He rejects it. Moving it around the perimeter. Number five makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Gets his second. Up and inside. He throws up the shot. Off the mark. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He's got some room. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. That's a nice fake. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He intercepts it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Watch here. Fancy, too much mustard there. Executes the baby hook. Rims out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Watch this again. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He goes to the line. He hits the first. He makes the second shot. Big time screen set on the defender that time. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Now the turnaround jumper. And he missed. Working it around the perimeter for the bucket. And he can't hit the shot with a layup. I need to see that again in slow-mo. They work 
the perimeter. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive in advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Crimson is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.